Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, New Pig Corporation is here with their aerosol can recycler and telling us all about it and how it works and helps the environment is John Baker with New Pig. How you doing, John? Good, Tom. How are you? It is good to have you here. Now, everybody knows about New Pig's famous absorbent mats and leak and spill products, but you guys also have a ton of products that are uh, manage hazardous materials and waste, and, and that's what we have here today, something that I've never seen before, but but it really is a great product. you got a cool demo for us, so explain what's going on today. Well, thanks, Tom. Today I'd like to show you New Pig's aerosol can recycling unit and show you how it can help people work safer, save money, and improve your sustainability efforts. All right, where do you want to start today? Well, everybody uses aerosol cans at some point, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Um, brake cleaners, lubrication, paint, adhesives. Uh, I mean, I've even heard of air fresheners as aerosol cans. What not everybody realizes is they actually need to be treated as has waste when you dispose of them. So even when you're done spraying, they're not really empty because the can is still considered what's under pressure. Okay, and that's why they're called has waste, right? That's right. And I can't tell you how often we've seen aerosol cans just tossed into the dumpster like regular trash. And I don't even want to mention how many times we've seen plants pony up costly fines because EPA inspectors caught them doing just that. You know what? The most important thing, it's just plain dangerous. Yeah, and the one thing that I've always heard about aerosol cans is somebody tossing them into a fire and, and then there's an explosion. Right, and you know, that goes along with improper disposal. And then you can be looking at explosions, fires, VOC releases, and like we said before, the fines that drop right out of your bottom line. But the good news is all this can be avoided and that can be done safely, conveniently, and cheaply. Well, you definitely got my attention. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. So uh, what are we going to do? The Pig Aerosol Can Recycler allows you to safely puncture your cans, which completely empties the can of both its liquid contents as well as any propellants and pressure. Okay. All right. So any of the VOCs in the can are then filtered out, helping to eliminate hazardous emissions. And this turns your dangerous aerosol can into a regular piece of scrap aluminum they can be recycled or simply disposed of as regular metal waste. So first what you'll need is what we have here, 30 or 55 gallon steel drum. It has a two inch and a three quarter inch bung opening. All right, everything else is included with the system. And what that includes is the puncture unit okay. itself. So this is the puncture unit right that's, here. That's it right there, All okay. Right. Goggles, instructions, filters, and a grounding wire. All right, and that's the grounding yeah. wire. And what else right also, here. it includes this wall sign too. That's a great thing to hang near your recycling area. Okay, tells you exactly everything that's going on, but you're gonna show me how to set this up, right? So first thing first, we gotta make sure we use our PP. So let's put our glasses on. I always do that. Those are the goggles that come with it. I've got mine, and remember, PPE for whatever the job calls for, personal protective equipment. All right, it's all on you. In addition to the PP, or to the goggles, if the contents of the can require the use of glove or an apron, then make sure you wear those too. So before you puncture anything, and so we don't forget, we went ahead and put the filter on. Right. Okay, you should do that first. And what this is is a two-piece coalescing filter with a carbon cartridge. Okay, now I've heard of these. They capture the odors and VOC releases from the punctured aerosol can, and those are pretty dangerous, right? Right. And the cool thing about our filter is it eliminates the guesswork about when it's time to change it out. There's a color, there's a time strip indicator that will actually change color when it needs replaced. So now yeah. the filter's in. What we want to do is make sure that grounding wire is attached. Okay, okay? let me go back here and double check and to make, make sure, sure it's grounded. Okay. okay, this is our grounding wire and I have attached it back here to some metal. So we are good to go. Yeah, you All want to make right. sure it's on the footer here. Okay, what's well, considered the footer. All right. Okay, and what that does is will help prevent static electricity buildup and that avoids work or injuries that would be caused by fires or explosions. All right, filter is installed, grounding wire is attached, we got our puncture unit. What's next? Okay, so we already went ahead and put and threaded the puncture unit into the two inch bung. Right. All right, and you'll know when it's tight when the handle's facing out as it is and the footer is tight against the outer rim. Yeah, we're good to go there. Yeah, so now you're ready to puncture your cans. So grab, grab an aerosol can. All right, we're good right. to go. Remove the cap and you're gonna wanna turn it upside down. Okay. Right? Okay, so place it in the cylinder. Okay. Take the adjustable lid, raise it up, Okay. right? You're gonna lower it on top? And lower it on top, make sure it's tight against the base of the can. Now tighten the knob on the side to keep the can from moving around. Okay, should be good. Okay. All right. So what you wanna do now is grab the puncture handle. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Press down. Well, that was quick. You could hear everything going out of there. And I mean, that took care of all the, the contents and then the filter takes care of the odors, 
because I can't smell anything. And also the VOC gases that are in there as well, right? And it didn't take much force either. I mean, that was really pretty easy. Yeah, no, that, that's right, Tom. You know what that is? That's because of the angled carbide pin. It's super hard and it remains sharp and it won't wear down. And it easily punctures the can, as you can just tell, which leaves no sharp or jagged edges. When you, now, you, when you're done, right, mm -hmm. you can remove the can. All right, you take the can out, yep. you sure? Yeah, you, you should be good to go. Right, and then all you need to do is throw it in with your standard waste stream or any recycling program you may have. And there you can see there's the puncture right there on the can. You can see where it took care of it. And like he said, it is actually in and there's no sharp or jagged edges. So you've got that right there. So, I mean, that worked exactly the way you said it was. So I can recycle the old cans and scrap metal. Yeah, how about that, you know? Depending mm -hmm. on how many you use, that could really add up to a lot, you know? But no matter what, once you puncture the cans with the unit, if you won't have the hassle of dealing with them as has waste and, and the expense that would go along with that. And this keeps me out of trouble with the EPA, right? Yeah, that's yeah. tossing pressurized cans into regular waste is an easy mistake to make. And if an EPA inspector catches you, you could be written up with a violation. Well, we definitely don't want to have that happen. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, having an easy way to dispose them properly can really save you in the back end with a lot of fines. Well, John, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. This is an awesome demonstration. That was John Baker from New Pig Corporation. And remember, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Hopefully this helped you with your practical application. And as you saw earlier, goggles came with the New Pig aerosol can recycling kit. I wore mine. You want to make sure you wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. And uh, you also want to make sure you watch other how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.